Hey. Sorry about all that. I had to jump on a call. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's do a family call. <sighs> I'm back now. How's the dressing? Still dry? Stitches all in place? Dude, it hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. We'll all rot without Anderson anyway. Odell Blanco? Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? No, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, uh, that we haven't tried. Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. What, a bar guest salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. This place used to be a church? Yes, mine. But these days, few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. At least you're still helping them. True. <laughs> Where's a priest to confess? So what, you're Anderson's right hand? Not a physician, if that's what you mean. I provide spiritual comfort. How's that going for you? The patients are afraid. If something happens to Anderson, they'll have nowhere to go. What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset the scavs still let you look after the patients in a sense then nico ordered them to take us all outside nobody's allowed in said it was between her and anthony she doesn't want anyone killed hmm. or anyone talking later scavs got all the doors covered made one sure heard them setting up inside but you know they broke in through a window could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me.
Chill. Gun down. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. 
Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You, off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ugh, fuck! You, Merc, help me! One shot too many, scavs. <laughs> You want to explain? Finally, you couldn't have done that from the start. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. You know, could have handled this gig yourself. Just had to tell the truth. The truth? The truth is her brother was a junkie with a prognosis of hopeless to death. But no, she wasn't interested in that truth. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. Yeah, well, fuck you, asshole. Sitch still under control? Barely. Supplies are low. Drugs, needles, oxygen. It's all still inside. All clear now. Anderson's inside, alive. A little drunk. That's a relief. Thank God. Thank you. So we can go back in? Sure can. Mika won't be giving you any more trouble. Listen, V. Stop by later. Once everything's back to normal. Might not have the latest, shiniest chrome, but you're no snob. Anthony will make the price just right. So, how's the lake? Better? <sighs> Night and day. You even bent my knee now. Good to hear. But easy now. Don't go shooting hoops just yet.
Christ, I didn't realize there were going to be so many. Hey, you there. This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Hustle around. Got big guests in from the city. Mm hmm. Almost every day. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. You take one right in the faceplate, we rake in the damage. 
messages. What's to know? Hey, sorry, it's easy, it's easy. Nice. That watch is on the prowl, sniffing around here lately. I'm certain I have no idea what you're talking about. Unfortunately, this thing I know nothing about is a problem for the VDBs. So much so, district power consumption has dropped by half. Voodoo's troubles keeping you up at night? Mr. Hands the altruist. No, disruptions to the status quo keep me up at night. My concern grows when the seeds of chaos are sown. It's bad for business. When can we meet? You know, face to face. Perhaps never. Perhaps tomorrow. When it proves absolutely necessary. Not before. Not looking for new tombs, are you? V, I offer you what no tomb can. Honesty. Consistent, reliable honesty. Okay, gotta go. Likewise, time is Eddie's. are in need of rescue and who but you could save those sworn to protect us now these two little piggies went to market struck a deal with one of Hansen's men Dodger what could go wrong you think correct everything 
sort of thing. Stella, the fiance of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. Need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade-A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And Thanks, I should I order gelato Dodger or not? Dodger paint the walls with their brains. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge tombs at your back, but instead you call a merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. So Bill's your fiance, Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill. Bill's a good guy, but Charlie? He's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie? He's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. <laughs> Sweet of him, but not re When I asked what happened, he said it was... Why's Dodger got you all shaking at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hanson. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please.
Damn, there was a place to plug in in here. Right. We got a troublemaker, boy. Someone out there. It's V here to help you guys out. Finally, Bill's losing his fucking mind over here. Okay. Let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing! A little help! Won't budge! Better step back. Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Uh... Hi. Is that who I think it is? Who's your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, I I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill, got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Bet it'd take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You say drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of sin coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could've had a food tube implant? Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Why would he do that? Makes no sense. Fuck if I know. It's not like he made a list of pros and cons. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? Stella was right. You two are bona fide jackasses. We panicked, all right? Shit happens. <laughs> this. It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. Couldn't have just up and left on your own? Well, we kinda left our iron in the squad car. Oh my god, are you stupid? 
Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first-class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Still Always gonna your... kill me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, because <laughs> you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Careful. What? Too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket! Stand up, don't stand up, don't stand up. Fuck.
serious scratch to be made in wieners. Screw you, Charlie. Screw you. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. <coughs> Our squad car is right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Chill, June. Got them right here. Fellas. Oh, am I early? We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, not us, per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um, uh, there was a shootout. Uh, a guy got hit. Uh, was, was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so it's all good. Another smooth talker. All right, third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? It's all true. Happened exactly as Bill said. That's unfortunate. See, I really don't like being made a fool of. Boys. Deep shit, psycho! Safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup. Nothing left but hop in your ride, flee the scene. Sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay. I'll read you us in. Tell them we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella on the armor first. Put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed.
A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown. Until I receive word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go to the scavs nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing.
it you? You, over here. <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. 
I think I know why you're here. Let me guess right back. Want me to rescue you? No, no. The prototype. And its schematics. Correct? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir. Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the scab ambush. How'd they get the drop on you? Zeta Tech skimping on hustle now? It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. In Dogtown? Keeping your fangs to yourself is a sign of weakness here. Might as well have tagged Rob me on the transport. Let Zeta Tech do the lecturing, please. That is, if you get me out of here. So, what will it be? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs, M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of him. Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet, the alternative was far more dangerous. What was it? And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a Ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. It's condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Two seven five three.
Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah... <sighs> Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is... Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. A couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. So I want everyone in their homes by six sharp. Blind down. No scrolling. More news to come shortly. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. <laughs> Should be safe here. Ah, I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh, uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. 
I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Doctown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... it would be a death sentence. Why are you so hell-bent on clipping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. <laughs> the sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it. The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. How'd you imagine playing a megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well... Wait, how in the hell do you think that was gonna go? I tell my fixer, sorry, shit out of luck, prototype bounced. Just say it got lost, moved, I don't know. I cut the signal. Your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You connive and fuck. Should've schemed a little harder before you squirmed into a Sokka Zeta scavenger shit witch. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Okay. You and me. Never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics. Prototype went AWOL. We clear? You... really? Yes. Understood. I... thank you. Now I Delta. You find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff, you're dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. thinking he's safe. Ha! <laughs> in for a big fucking surprise. Yeah? When's that? When I say so. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, wow. Did you hear it? <laughs> fucking... Awesome. Is she still recording at the stacks? Damn straight. She's a local girl. V. A little birdie chirp that you retrieved Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say? Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly... a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now. Huh? 
I'm ten. So bad, why'd you let that gong cut in front of you, huh? 
Got yourself lucky Hanson didn't see that. Let yourself get pushed around like that? In Dogtown? My synth lungs were hacked, I choked, turned blue, then lost consciousness, and woke up. My client, Indira Baratza, won't be so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis. He works for the Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. If anything's unclear, read the attached details.
Right.
Well, well. Now, what do we have here? Wait! Don't shoot! I'm just here on Biz! You have Biz with the Voodoo Boys? Yeah. Well, used to. After what you just did, thinking they'll want a new supplier. Voodoo's can't just go to a ripper for their chrome? This cyberware isn't for installing. It's for tinkering. It's some kind of experiment. Research on implants. What was all that about? Don't know, don't care. I got enough problems. Milko Alexis, a voodoo boy. Know the name? Yeah. About all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. Got enough problems as it is. This is the thanks I get? I know how to talk to my clientele. Had everything under control. Till whoever the fuck you are swooped in. I don't owe you shit. I'm out of here. It's bad for Biz to be seen with a customer in that kind of condition.
to get downstairs somehow. Hey, hey, careful with that. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Milko's a corpse already, but you still got a choice. Whoever you are, I advise you to step back. You'd only waste your bullets on you, trust me. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. 
First I've seen a Netwatch agent ditch the tie and button up to get his hands dirty. Live with the enemy. We tried recruitment. More than once. None ever agreed, no matter our terms. We underestimated their loyalty to each other. Well, Alan, Netwatch agent or not, if you stand in my way, I'll be forced to remove you from it. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine, but so much is a twitch, and you're a flat line. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Wanna stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers, like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. This Milko guy work for you? Your source? I piggyback whenever he jacks into the net. Try to pin down who's feeding him orders. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? To you, these victims are numbers in a file. No names, no faces. Well, my client does have a name, Indira Baratza, and she'll die if I don't do my job. You think I don't know that? Pulling Milko's plug will not save Indira's life. He'll just be replaced. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Last thing on his mind. Company you men do it, like him, right? all the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Fine. Keep doing your thing here. Just know, if you fuck this up, you're next on my shit list. You won't regret it. I give my word.
Yeah, fuck that. Scared of me? Hey, you! Come here a minute. Talking to me? Looking at you, ain't I? Come on, we got like a situation. Look, vodka. Have a shot. Hanson gonna hang me by my cojones anyway. So what the hell? Name is Paco. This here's Babs. V. Okay, V. Let's drink to the sitch. Like, toast the mofo and hope he goes away. Passing the poison. But what's this bitch sit you're facing? Fab says I fucked big time. But as I see it, like, no shit too deep, you know? What you think? Looking at someone who got out of neck deep shit, June. <laughs> Told you, Babs. Fucking Nova. That's the vaguest shit I ever heard. Who fucking cares? He did it, didn't he? It's a start. So, okay, can I start now? <sighs> what the hell? Weave your tail. Just Paco begging you. On the down low. Wall's got ears. Feel me? Ooh, wait. Let's do it right. Go for real feels, eh? Take a whiff. It's deep dive. Gonna take you there live. Make you feel part of it. Day was tight as shit. My ticket to the majors, get me? Wanna feel it? Take a big whiff and listen. A cyber psycho who barged into Dogtown without registering. What is this? Militech cognitive enhancer spiked with something. Same kind of inhaler. You want to override. How the hell you know shit like this? They give it to us in training. Fucking tight! Fire without warning. That'll be all. Got a story like that myself. Same start. Fast forward a few hours and my best friend was dead. Ah, oh, bites, man. I make it out alive of mine. Promise you. Dodgy stim. <laughs> Not in the mood. 
Story no good on its own? Come on. Shit ain't gonna kill ya. It's Pat Cole's rambling that might get you without it. All right, pass that shit here. Oh, V. Okay. Okay, settle down to listen. So, picture this. My first day in Hansen's army? Waiting for the boss man, yeah? Legs shaking like jelly. Fuck! No! Imagine you Hansen himself. And you was pissed. You was super pissed Kurt Hansen himself. <laughs> Talk about a bad trip. You wish to talk, so said the radio. Do you? Scab deal. Swear to me it'll go swimmingly. No fucking mishaps. Look me in the eye. Kurt, how long have we known each other? They'll want to fuck us. We need to be prepared. Clear? Of course it's clear. Come now, this is rookie shit. Rookie shit, like talking to the police commissioner? You were my messenger, Yuri. Now half the NCPD knows about our dealings. Then, dead silence. Cause you know, Yuri and Kurt been in the army together. Militech dropped him here years ago, yeah? Oh, this little door is ready to get fucked good! And I'm standing there, waiting, lost. I actually shit myself a little. Babs is whispering, egging me on like, and I'm thinking, if he don't kill Yuri, he gonna kill me for sure. Do it, Kurt! Little bitch is begging for it! Fuck him up! Defend yourself, Gonk! Put him up! What's your name, kid? B Paco Torres! Fuck his face down. Wrong. Your name's Mutt. But we'll make a hound out of you yet. Yes! Fuck me, Paco. Quit making shit up. Psh, my story. Hitting him like that. Telling you, felt like the real deal. What good are you to me? I'm quick, and... and clever! Let me see it. And he just staring at me. And I'm thinking, I'm just too weak. Landed a couple punches, too. And that dog knowed where to hit. I can still feel it in places. Pup will do. I can tell. I try to run a block again. And we will. We will. Welcome to the pack, kiddo. <laughs> like hell he said that. You'll handle the next convoy. Let's see what you're made of. And I felt like born again, Chum. Blood running down my face. But I'm so happy I'm howling. And? You're keeping up? This is Kurt Hansen. You are now in the dog. Oh, so, get your ass handed to you. You call that the best day of your life? 
Taking a beating is just a path to something greater. Ass whooping is ass whooping. Ain't no point philosophizing it. When they put a bullet in your dumb face, gonna call it your stupid ass path too? Por Dios, get off me already. I'm just jealous you didn't get no mission from Hansen himself. So listen, was one of those gigs, you know? Like guarding airdrops or transporting? I was protecting our convoy. Transport, what was it? Something for scabs. But we transport medicine, water, sometimes generators. Things for civvies. Caring for our peeps, right? But you know, sometimes it's one for the peeps. One for me, then two for me. Shit went south when I took too much, Chum. Babs loves complaining. But the opportunity looked real, real good. To the end. Hmm. Give me another whiff of the dive. So we drive in, right? Boss man himself next to me. Suddenly, tires screeching, and I'm thinking, Mierda, esto se sale de madre. Motherfuckers. He saw it all coming. That's why he went with me. to myself, this is how we fucking die. And you know, blam, 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 blasting away, yeah? So many scabs, no way he wasn't gonna get shot. Fue perfecto. Maravilloso. Cayeron uno detrás de otro. Oh shit! Look out! Fuck man! Awesome, Prime, and he was out for blood. Slaughtered all of them, we did. Metallic smell of blood in the air. Massacre. We have a groaner, still breathing. Sure to tell us something interesting. Dirty fucking rats. At least the kid showed some teeth. So, still breathing. Well done. We'll make a real soldier out of you yet. All you gotta do is stay with us. Be indispensable. You will not get away with this! All right. The goods go back to the Sapphire. Just be careful, kid. Yuri and I gotta ask our scav friends some questions. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. And Keep listening, V. What this Skonkast did next is a story I've been waiting for. 
Okay, so listen. Before we left, Yuri gave me a list. No power generators there. I look into the truck, and what's there? Generators. Yeah, Yuri probably grabbed some on the side. Wanted to hawk him off for a quick eddy after the scav shit show. And this dumbass thought if he snatched and sold him, he'd be set for a year. They check him to see if he's cool. He straight up robs him. Yeah. Only idiots say no to opportunity, Babs. Sheesh. In what world did that seem like a good idea? There's more, V. See, my little gauntlet here sold them to a dude in India. Probably on the way there. Oh, they're gonna kill him, right? Fuck. And me in the bargain? Come on, I see you thinking good. Can you help, brother? <laughs> Might have an idea, yeah. Okay, we frame Yuri. Guy's on Kurt's shit list anyway. We do this right, problem will solve itself. Fine, L let's just please take this combo somewhere else. Uh, uh, underground. Amen to that. Said any contact. Ah, shit. Hey, I'm back in town. What's your status? Sniffed around, did some side gigs. No word, no sign of our runner friend. Then we redouble the effort, all right? Add another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Adding another cook to the kitchen. Pretty crowded already. I trust Alex. Longshore stacks at the dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And senses trained on any potential shadows. I guess I can't go any further with the car. If you want my advice, I dump that pile of human offal. See how he likes being alone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, better get going. Take care. Chin up, sweet kins. Seeing sunshine round the bend. Just don't you let those bastards walk over you. What'll it be, honey buns? No booze, thanks. Make it a Nicola? Nicola it is. Hey, 
TV you're at the bar. Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. Okay. What did that be? You know that op seven years back that went south? Well, my eyes left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex it was a cover. <laughs> so, things could get tense. You and Alex, two of you were close. I let our cell in the NC was a handler. She wound up stuck here in Dogtown post-war. Thinks it was because I turned cold. Do you see what I'm driving at? Got it. My tell is to go fuck ourselves. Something like that. I'm nearing the entrance. And there you are. Enjoy, honey bunch. Thanks. <laughs> First time in here. I got that right? You new to Dogtown? Oh, hell no. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. You're on the awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get out. I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. He's with me. You've got some balls. All right, my people. We gotta close up for the day. Well, I ain't going fucking anywhere. Come on. You serious? <laughs> Everyone out! Now! Seven! Seven fucking years in this shithole! Cause of you, Solomon Reed! Holy... Sol ain't getting it. Maybe you will. V, the coin. Myers sent us. Got a mission to Dogtown. With him? FYI, seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody in the back. No, seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground. And you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. Look, whatever happened between you two is none of my biz. Got direct orders from the president. Right now, that's all you need to care about. I cared. Cared for seven years. <sighs> but now? It's all right. Take a moment. Fuck this. Need a smoke. Should be fucking ashamed, Saul. The hell was that? Did... Did she just shapeshift? Metatropic cloaking. Perks of the FIA Militech connection. Get to call dibs on their latest gen, cutting edge tech. Could get tense, he said. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Let me try this. Give me a minute. You're gonna talk to her. Someone's gotta. And better me than you. <sighs> Couldn't wait till I was done. I'm V, by the way. <sighs> Alex. 
So NUSA is tossing us back into the fray, huh? New mission? Yeah, afraid so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. <sighs> You, right now, am I looking at the real Alex? What's it to you? I mean, what's the diff? Nobody who's anybody cares about the real Alex. What if I do? Then it's solely your problem. Now, about the mission. Spill. FIA agent went missing. Read an eye task for finding him. You've come to the right place. And all of a sudden, FIA NCP remembers I exist. Not in you know Dogtown better than any other operative Taxes. in their ranks. Who the fuck needs their them? ranks. In Dogtown, You're not FIA. I keep your business safe. As long Curious. By my rules. Sound fair what you? leverage they had on so you. Over and out. Deal's just for this one op, then I'm out. <laughs> Wouldn't count on brevity. Me? One in the same mission for the last seven fucking years. Been working the local arms and tech dealers since the war. My one op, that. Going real swell. Well, I got less time than that. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. Then one day, they nail your dick to the wall. This op mean that much to you? Cause you're clearly hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? <laughs> Survival. Woman we're after is offering something that could help me. Just gotta find her first. And by coincidence, Myers also wants her. Who the hell is this bimbo? Songbird. <sighs> Fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. She on that short list of peeps you don't serve here too? Never told you the whole story, did he? What story? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? <laughs> That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences? Or, fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation, and surprise, gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. Well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Got conditions, though. You in a position to have any? Still on their payroll. Don't care. Tell Saul I'm done letting everyone walk all over me, expecting me to lick their boots. Way I see it, this is a favor I'm doing, a transaction. Want my back scratched in return. So what's your ask? Monaco. Want to burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. Want a spy's retirement? Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? Op orders came from the NUS Prez, so, yeah. Preem. Go back inside, tell him I'm in. <laughs> Gonna need more nicotine before I look at his face again. Thanks, Alex. So? She's in. Just wants a spy's nice retirement in return. Don't we all? Can't say I blame her.
So, heard you need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's asswart. I came to you because I trust you, Alex. If you say so. Fine, Songbird. Heard we got a sniffer out. First off, don't know that she's alive. We were linked, comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace, then got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. We need a net runner. Kind of spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. Went rogue a while back, but I know where that little rat nests. Slider, care to fill me in? Renegade voodoo boy, murderer turned CI, all around piece of shit. Outside the net, he's blinder than three mice. Damaged occipital lobe. Not even a Kuroshi could mend it. How's an intel agency lose a blind man? Hold himself up with Haitian buddies. Operates a large-scale tech and demon mill. Think Kabuki's home to Night City's soft sorcerers? <laughs> no. They're just there to push product. Claim Slider dropped off your radar, went rogue. But you know where he is. Why haven't you brought him in? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was saving him for a rainy fucking day. Slider wasn't on my list of prios. Not like it's any of your biz. This Think this guy will be willing to help? Slider? Don't hold your breath. Classic repeat offender, no scruples or principles. Had a titty twist him to work for us. Likely this time you'll just have to twist a little harder. So, we paying him a visit? Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact chords in two secs. We'll rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh, catching up to do. <laughs> right. Just, uh, don't gouge each other's eyes out. Need both of you alive and healthy. See that tree there? Yeah, something special about it? Fitting, isn't it? How the prettiest thing here in Dogshed Town is a monument to the dead? Still don't get this gonk affinity for symbols and empty gestures. Come on. Would lit one for you if I wasn't fresh out just now. Shit, maybe I am as sentimental as everyone else. When I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. Johnny Silverhand, empathizing with total randos. See it clear as day. Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Not right now, but soon. Could have spilled the truth years ago, stayed tuned. But no, stubborn old Reed had his orders. Hmm. Not mutually exclusive, friendship and duty. Matter of fact, they are. Had good reasons to fly the army coop. Think. How many times you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? There a point to all this? Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. This is Kurt Hansen. 
you are now in Dogtown. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Um. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I'll be streaming again probably on Monday because I'm going to a gamers expo called PAX this weekend. Might have heard of it. Um. Yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, please think about liking and subscribing and maybe checking out the Twitch channel and following. And if you're watching the VOD on Twitch, please consider giving me a follow. So yeah, until probably Monday, see you later. Bye.